Alrighty, my friends, welcome back to the Wade Fishing Experience. Appreciate y'all tuning in today. I am fishing some residential docks. We are tucked back out of the wind in St. Petersburg. Um, it's a nice day out. It's blowing about 15, but uh, no worries. Like I said, we've got wind protected area here. The full moon was last night. Um, so that could definitely impact the bite. We've got a great current flow. I'm hoping it was as cloudy as they say overnight. It should make the fishing even better. But the targeted species for today are sheep's head, redfish, and jacks. I'm gonna start out throwing a little john around the docks, and then what I really wanna do today is fish artificial crabs for sheep's head. I've got the chase baits, crusty crab, and also the savage gear 3D crab. So stay tuned, y'all. Right in front of me. Yeah. Oh, we dropped it. Dang gum it. I think that was a small jack. Not sure. I think it was a small jack, but working the little John and watermelon glitter on a uh, owner twist lock hook. There's a fish, y'all. There's a decent fish. Yes, sir. I think we got a jack. Let's see here. I think we got us a jack. Yep, I reckon so. Nice way to start out the morning here. Yes, sir. Nothing too big here. A nice little jack. Alright, let's get you set up here, buddy. Alright, y'all. We are on the board with the jack this morning. Let's keep it going. There's a fish, y'all. There's a fish. Nice. Another jack. Yes, sir. Nice little jack bite this morning. Nothing wrong with that. About the same size as that last one, I reckon. Yeah. They are loving this little John. Which is a great lure this time of year. Yeah, come here, boss. Yeah, you got all of that one, didn't you? Easy, buddy. All right, y'all. Another nice jack there. On to little John. Say what? All right, let's get him back. All right, good start to the day, y'all. All right, I'll talk about my setup for today. I have got my Quantum Smoke Inshore 30 spooled with 10 pound Power Pro braid. I've got my seven foot Bull Bay Stealth Sniper, medium heavy fast. I've got a um, 20 pound floral carbon leader on and I just tied on the good old Savage Gear 3D Crab. This is the blue crab color caught a redfish on one of these the other week but really I'm gonna just toss and work these docks for sheep's head y'all so stay tuned <laughs> the key to these things is to cast them out past the piling wait just a second to close your bale so you're not pulling it past the piling and just work it real slow back in. A lot of times they're sitting right by those pilings. See, oh, I just missed that one. <laughs> Almost had a, a good uh, lesson there for y'all, but um, yeah, you see what I mean? That's the way you get the bites on this crab. 
Definitely some nice fish. I love being able to see these fish. And you can get right up on them, as long as you're stealthy. They don't spook like snook and reds. I mean, they're going to spook if you do something stupid, but... If you're just moving real slow, making finesse casts, you're going to be good. Yeah, big, big, big redfish just patrolling. Patrolling around here. I may have to switch back to the Little John. I mean, they'll eat these things, but I don't know about sight casting them with. I mean, that was a stud red. He's just cruising this dock. There we go, y'all. Oh yeah, this is a decent sheep. Decent sheep. Get him away from the pylons here. Yeah, very decent sheep. Very decent sheep. This is exactly what we're looking for, y'all. Just... Yes, sir. This is a nice one. Oh yeah, buddy. This is a nice one, y'all. Yeah, come on over here. Oh yeah. Let's get a look at this guy. Oh, this is a bruiser, y'all. This is a bruiser. Easy, boss. Oh, and he popped off. He's right here. All right, y'all. Well, that was a good one. That was like probably a 16 inch or a couple pounder. That's exactly what we're looking for. Heck yeah. Awesome. So I caught that last one on the Chase Baits Krusty Crab. Uh, I switched over from the Savage Gear Blue Crab or the 3D crab and the blue crab pattern. So yeah, this is the Chase Baits Krusty Crab and it is in the muddy color. Good old muddy. That's what we got that last one on. Yeah, this is a good duck. I've caught them off here before. The key to finding where the sheep's head are gonna be is find these docks that are covered in barnacles on the pilings and also the ones that are the deepest and drop off the quickest. So you've got access to as much of that deep water as you can. That is extremely important when you're wade fishing. Um, this dock, if I take another five steps forward, it probably goes to about six foot, five and a half, six foot deep. Um, at the end, it's probably, you know, eight or 10 foot. So that is part of the key to finding these fish. And you can see, I mean, just look at all these barnacles here all over these pilings, you know? Let's take it, I'll take a close look. And you can tell, like, this is an old dock, right? Like, there's some damage to some of these pylons. And you can tell this one's been here a while. This, this is the kind of structure that we love, y'all. Well, unfortunately, I got wrapped around this pylon a little bit here. It's not bad, but I really like to not spook these fish. There we go. That's just part of this game, y'all. This fish in this structure, you're gonna get hung up. But don't always just try to break yourself off. Um, you know, you gotta try to work it. A lot of times you can get these things unstuck. There's one. There's one, y'all. I don't think this one's as big, but we got another one here. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. There we go. Another one on the Krusty Crab. Yep. He probably, he probably about a 10 incher. A little shy of keeper size probably. There we go. Nice sheep's head, y'all. I'll tell you what, man. Fishing one of these artificial crabs is just a blast. Yeah. All right, buddy. You're ready to go. See ya, dude. one checking it out Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. yeah there's a couple nice ones right here oh just missed that one right, I'm gonna hug the pilings cuz I just saw one out in the open and he saw me usually they're not that spooky but he saw me and uh, 
took off. There we go. Yup, yup. Nice one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A little better one. Yes, sir. Man, these things pull. Yep, come on, buddy. Oh, it's wrapped around his gills. Oh, there we go. It's all right. Get him up here. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Not as big as the first one, but bigger than that last one. Awesome. First cast on this dock, y'all. Oh, man, he inhaled that one. We're going to need the pliers on this boy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about there, though, y'all. That is a gorgeous sheep's head. That's definitely a keeper, probably about a two-pounder. Nice and fat. I mean, just an awesome catch. What's the difference? I mean, I don't want to be, I'm not going to be an asshole. Don't worry. I will move off your property. I just want to know what the difference is. I mean, I, I understand that, but if you don't, if you don't have a problem with people in a boat fishing here, what's, what's your problem with me? Because you're standing on my property and it's a liability issue. It wouldn't be a big deal if you're on a boat because I don't assume liability if you're on a boat. I'm, but I do assume liability if you're there. So I appreciate if you get a boat, you want to fish it, please do. Because I have a lot of my friends that come here and fish it, and I don't mind if they do, but I don't want to stand it on the land. Whatever, dude. Have a great day. Alrighty, y'all. So I wanted to talk to you about that guy, um, you know, telling me to get off his property. Um, I'm not sure what's up with that. I don't know what riparian rights are. I'm not going to pretend like I do, but you know the type of person that guy is. I'm not going to say anything bad about him. I'm sure he's a fine human being, but me standing there fishing his dock, you know, quote unquote on his property. I mean, that's, that's, that's cutting it pretty close to ridiculous. Um, I've never had anybody complain about me being around their docks, fishing around their docks. Um, I try to be as respectful as I can. If I get snagged, I try my best to get a lure out. Um, yeah, he's like, well, if you had a boat, it would be different. Well, that's hilarious. Um, I'm, I'm sure, you know, liability with a boat, liability from me being on shore can't be that different. Um, all in all, he was just being a grumpy Gus and wanted me out of there. Um, and, and you know what, the best thing to do in that situation is just to leave. I could have got into a shouting match with that guy. I wanted to tell him, you know, how I really felt, but there's no point in that. Um, he probably would have called the cops and we would have just had a stupid um, situation that I didn't want to deal with. But anyway, I figured I would address that um, because that doesn't happen often. And, and so, you know, you might have that, that Karen type person um, come after you when you're, you're fishing a dock like this. But uh, anyway, y'all, let's, let's get back to the fishing. Alrighty, my friends, that is a wrap for today's episode. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Yeah, we had a good little day. Um, Especially for, you know, post full moon, morning after the full moon, I'll take it. Started off with those jacks on the Lil John, which is fun. And um, yeah, saw a couple big reds around the docks, but just couldn't get anybody to um, play on that front today. But man, fun times with the sheep's head on artificials. This was really my first trip after them um, this season. And so, yeah. Three is pretty good. I mean, uh, two of them were definitely keepers. Um, the first one that we didn't get quite a good look at, um, he, he came off after I couldn't quite get a handle on him. He was probably the biggest. He probably went, uh, you know, 16 inches, three pounds. But uh, yeah, we're definitely transitioning into the winter sort of patterns for the fish. We've got another significant cold front coming through the Tampa Bay area, I think like midweek this coming week. Temperatures are supposed to drop significantly um, into the 60s for highs. So that will keep uh, the fish on the move. We'll see you next time, y'all.